All right, everybody, this turkey is ready. It smells fantastic. It looks gorgeous. And I really don't want to share with anybody, but I probably will, especially with our camera person who's doing a real bang up job today. Thanks, Terry. Uh, okay, so we hit 155. I checked in along the thigh. I checked in both sides of the breast. You don't want to pierce it a million times so the juice comes out, but you got to make sure you really test it. Uh, now, another super important thing, once it comes out of the pan, you're going to want to let it sit a good 10 minutes before you carve it. Otherwise, all the juice is just going to come running out. So comes out, let it sit for 10 minutes. Maybe just put a piece of foil just to tent it over. Don't cover, but just to tent it a little bit. Believe me, I know how hard it is to get all the food hot out there at the same time. So this will help you out. Get everything else ready. Then we're going to carve turkey, and then I'm going to tell you how I love to eat it. Okay, now it's time to carve our turkey. So I did the internal temperature. I used my thermometer and the breast and the thigh. And look, this worthless thing is still not popped out. So as I mentioned, don't rely on these things. Okay, so leg and breast. We want to work on the best way to get to that. The, the, um, I separated this a little bit already. So it's very easy to get the leg off. There's just that one little joint. The best thing that I would recommend, just pull the turkey towards you and push this down in the same motion. And you don't even need to worry really about cutting this. It's just going to separate right down there at the joint. And from there, there you go. That easy to get the leg off. There it is. You can go full Fred Flintstone on that and attack it yourself, or you could slice it all off. The breast. So you're looking for the breastbone here. It's right about there. And you want to use the breastbone as your guide. So get as close to the bone as possible and just take a nice bony knife and just run along the edge. You don't have to go all the way down, spin him, and then go down and actually here, let's do it like this. You're going to go down. There's a natural curve. You want to follow that. All right. And now you're going to separate a little bit with your fingers and you're going to keep going down all the way across. Oh, this smells good. Terry, I hope you brought some gravy. You bet. All right. So we're going to keep going down, keep going down. all the way to the wing and boom all right we'll set this back in that pan with all those good things and then the breast and then just slice away all right so a couple things that you could do the last 10, min 10 minutes that the turkey's in the oven uh you could do a little drizzle of maple syrup on top that would be really delicious um, can't hurt to put a little bit more butter on top. So maybe just a couple slices. Also, when you take it out, if while it's resting, you could just put a couple slices of butter on there. If you want to get really fancy, white or black truffle butter on top of your turkey would be completely outrageous. And I'm going to do most of these things, but this year I have something else planned. Um, this pineapple sage jelly has been a fan favorite at Volante's for years and years. Now, there's not actually any pineapple in it. Pineapple sage is a really delicious herb. We grow it in the kitchen garden. It has a really nice floral flavor to it, and it looks absolutely exquisite. So what I'm going to do at my house this year is when my turkey comes out of the oven, I'm going to put a, a good lather of this on it. I'm going to put it back in for about five minutes, and it should make it really, really delicious. Another option, uh, this is also a big fan favorite here. It's our smoked apple beer mustard. Doesn't taste like beer. It's just wonderful, beautiful mustard. It's mixing a little bit of both of these together and then coating your turkey with that. And that also is going to be really outrageous. All right, one other thing. You put all this work into this turkey. If you want, and I highly recommend it, all these vegetables that you cooked your turkey on, the turkey neck, and all of your other bones, please save and make a stock. Throw all of it in a pot. Give yourself two inches of water above the chunk, bring it up to a boil, down to a simmer for two hours, strain it, and you have this wonderful, amazing stock you can use to make your gravy, you can make soup. If day four you're making turkey tetrazzini, you can use some of it in there too. But make a stock, you'll really love that you did, and the house will smell great. So that is Turkey Talk with Todd and Terry. Uh, we really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We hope this helps. We hope this takes stress out, remember. You don't want all this stress and we want to make things easier for you. That way you can spend more time with your small group or family, or you might want to spend more time in your kitchen so you can stay away from Uncle Fred. I don't know, but I know how it goes. So whatever you need for Thanksgiving this year, come and ask us. If you don't know what you need, we have tips, we have ideas, we have help. 
no stress. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, from Volante Farms.